I lost uh, one of these little belt buckles from my CPAC mask and I was going to try to 3D print one except the 3D printer's broken. So I'm still waiting for my Prusa to come. So I thought I'd try making one with the uh, laser cut out a piece of plexiglass, see if that'll work. So I opened up Fusion 360, created this drawing from taking some nice uh, micrometer measurements on it, tried to get it as accurate as possible. Filleted the corners so it doesn't scratch my little brain while I'm sleeping. And then I exported it from Fusion to create a DXF file which is the second one here and it tells me it's going to require cloud trans, uh, translation which may take a few minutes and I'm saving it to my desktop so I just click export so now in Lightburn let's go and open that file and we have to change our selections down here from just light burn to all supported files, which are the DXF files. And here's our file here. Just click open on that. And we zoom up on this and select it. We can see that it's 23 uh, millimeters wide and 25 high. So if I take and measure mine, I come out with 25.36 as a height and 23.17 as a width. So it's a little bit off, but it's going to be fine for what I want. So I'm going to select this all. and give it a little red tint there which sets my colors and the next thing i have to do is turn my laser on so it's going to be a little bit noisy there And of course, I'll save this or I'll send it to um, the laser. I don't know where that. Just change that to CPAC 1 so I know there's a difference. And off it goes. So the next thing is burning it on the laser. So now you can see that this thing is almost perfect for the size. So we need to 
take this paper off. This is a protective paper that keeps the plastic from getting smoky. And it works really well. And see which clips which way this goes. A little bit tight but this area is wider than the strap but once I get it through it seems to be all right and there it is ready to go so I will leave you and probably go take a nap I love this part of the functionality of this thing is to be able to lose something and in a few moments come out to the shop and create something that works as a replacement for it rather than trying to find this particular buckle that would fit this particular strap.